Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Rachel went shopping. In today's video, I'm going to tell you what I decided to do with the Gucci Hourglass bag and whether or not I ended up picking up the small version instead of the medium version. So if you're interested in a little bit of a story time and some eye candy, then you're gonna wanna keep watching. Okay, first things first, let's just get this right out of the way. So here she is. I decided to go with the beautiful small version of the Gucci Hourglass bag. I was able to score this in sort of a miraculous way and I tried it on and ultimately decided the small was right for me. So let me tell you guys why I decided to go with the small and how I was able to secure this bag at retail. Okay, I'm gonna set her right here for now so that you guys can see her in the background. So this is what ended up happening. I made my video about my medium hourglass bag. Thank you so much for everybody who commented on that video. I took all of your comments to heart. I loved it. I appreciate all your guys' feedback so much. Honestly, it was like 50-50 split. Half of you guys said you love the medium, it's unique, stick with the medium, and half of you guys were like, I think you want the small, I think you're gonna like the small better, go with the small. So guys, it was really split, and I really appreciate everybody who took the time to comment. I'll start by saying that I am a terrible decision maker because I feel like I know what I want deep down in my heart, but then I throw in a ton of analytics and try to make it make sense for why I need this for this reason, why I need this for this reason, and then sometimes I can like go astray a little, but ultimately I do think my heart was with the small in this case, and I'll tell you why. So first things first, this bag was the first bag in a while that I had a literal emotional reaction to when I saw it coming down the runway. I kid you not, I'm not making this up, I screamed out loud when I saw this bag, mainly because I had loved the hourglass bag. It had just never been the right color, the right material that I pulled the trigger on it. And when I saw this version, I was like, that's the one, that's the one that I had to have. And it was in the small size, which looked super adorable on the runway. When I found out that it was also coming in the medium size, that's when I started, you know, twisting my brain a little and being like, is the medium more practical for me, etc. And ultimately you guys know the story if you watched my previous video. So what happened was I was totally intending on paying resale for this bag. Uh, it, it was going for about a thousand dollars over retail on some of the better uh, resale sites in new condition. And I was considering spending a thousand over retail to get this bag. I decided I was going to wait till after Christmas. I felt like prices were possible possibly going up during that time because people were trying to get it as a Christmas gift and I wanted to see if they would settle back down after the holidays. So a miracle happened. My sales associate texted me on Christmas Eve and said, hey, I don't know if he said every boutique, some of the boutiques are getting a small restock of the small version of the bag. I know you said you wanted it. We're getting two, do you want one? And I was like, oh my God, it's a Christmas miracle. Yes, get me the small. I'll figure out what I wanna do, right? I felt like that made it meant to be. I 100% believe in what's meant to be will be. If I think about my collection, I don't think I've paid resale, like above retail for any of my bags. Even like this heart bag, which I did not think that I was going to be able to get. I 100% go by what's meant to be will be. This is the first bag in a long time that I was actually considering spending over retail for. So when he texted me on Christmas Eve, I was just like, dude, this feels so meant to be. I'm, I'm so glad that I can get it and try it on and see if I like it. And what ended up happening was I saw it, I opened it in the store. I mean, the thing, it's so adorable. It feels like a little toy bag. It's so cute, but it does fit your phone, which is such a huge benefit. I can show you guys in a second. It looked really cute crossbody. And I even just love all of this with the bling with adding the necklace to it as a bag charm. Obviously that's a little impractical. Here's what it looks like without the bag charm. So aside from this being like a sign and meant to be, the reason why I decided to go with the small was because I mentioned in my last video, I gravitate towards big bags. Tote bags are probably my favorite style of bags. I have to chill out on buying tote bags because I don't even really use them anymore. And I tend to always go for the biggest size of any bag that comes out. I love big bags. I love to carry everything in the world with me. But now as a mom, I have a three-year-old, I 
tend to gravitate towards smaller bags and it's been an adjustment because my whole life I've liked larger bags and now I want to be more hands-free. I prefer a crossbody or if I'm going out to dinner I actually love a top handle and I'm no longer gravitating towards bigger bags. Ultimately I felt like the small was more realistic for my lifestyle. This bag is the perfect pop of fashion. If you know, you know, for going out on a little lunch date, dinner day, it's the perfect size to carry the essentials. It's not too small. It's not a tiny bag or anything. So the small, for the purpose of what I plan on using this bag for, which is a date night out with my husband, a night out with friends, a quick little shopping trip, this was the better size for me. If I still was commuting to work every day and carried a lot of stuff with me to work, I probably would have stuck with the medium bag. But because my lifestyle has changed and I'm not looking for bags for the purposes of work anymore, also I have so many big bags I just don't need anymore, I decided to go with the small. That said guys, I love both versions. If you love the medium, stick with the medium. If you love the small, stick with the small. They both have different purposes for different lifestyles. They're both beautiful. I'm gonna try to do a zoom out so you guys can see what this bag looks like crossbody on me. I'll actually try to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two as well so that you can see the difference. Tell me down below what you think. If you're disappointed in me, if you knew that I was leaning towards this all along, what do you think about my Christmas miracle? You know, I love your guys' comments and I really appreciate you all taking the time to comment on my first video. Let me show you really quickly um, how my big phone fits inside of this and then I'll show you some on body shots. All right, I'm sure you guys have seen plenty videos of this unboxing. This is what it looks like inside. Here is my iPhone Plus and it fits in here perfectly. You can see like that. I will say both bags, the small and the medium, they're both not easy to open. It takes a little bit of effort to lift this up and open it wide enough to, to shove the stuff in there. It's definitely not the easiest bag to open and close. You cannot fit the phone in this back pocket. This is a pretty tight pocket. Maybe you could slide a credit card in there if you were in a rush. Otherwise, I don't really know what you would keep back there. You can see that once the phone is in there, there is still plenty of room for card case, essentials, etc. You wouldn't be able to fit like a large bottle of water in here or anything like that. If you carry more than a phone, a card case, a couple lipsticks, a lip gloss, you're probably gonna wanna go with the medium. But like I said, this logo, heavy, unique bag, I really see it more as a fashion statement for going out on a night out, a date night, whatever, not as much of a everyday bag for me. Let me go ahead and check the strap. So if I have this on the last hole, let me go ahead and measure this and tell you if it's the exact same length. So I believe this is the exact same height as the medium style. Yeah, you've got almost exactly 22 inches of drop there. So let me attach this, you know, same details. It says Balenciaga on the strap. Interestingly, the, the G's are not centered in this. So if you're using that as an authentication strategy, it is not because this was bought from the Gucci store and these are not centered like my other one was. Doesn't bother me because I obviously I know this bag is real. So this one I prefer to carry it like this where it's sort of coming up right under my chest. I really love carrying it as a top handle though but it's good to have this as an option if you just want to swing it over your shoulder to be a little more hands free and then that way too you can also access the flap so much easier when you're wearing it as a crossbody. So this is what it looks like. I swing it back just a little bit, I think, so that the strap is hitting right under the chest there instead of the medium where it was kind of like, it's the handle was so big that it was coming up a little more. It's so much easier to access inside of the bag when you're wearing it crossbody. Then you can really get in there and get your things rather than when you're doing a top handle and you kind of have to use both hands to open it and it's a little bit harder to get in it. So this is how cute the small looks. Here is what it looks like if I'm wearing the necklace as a little bag charm. Super cute. I love it. I really think that one of the biggest things that I didn't like about the medium was the size of the handle. The size of the bag itself was nice. I think the handle is just too big that it's awkward. I almost wish it had even the same size handle on the medium, which I guess probably looks a little disproportionate, but the handle was the biggest thing that was sort of just like getting in the way. Even when I was editing that video and watching the footage, I was like, that handle is awkward. I couldn't fully get on board with it. So I feel super blessed 
blessed and super lucky that I was given the opportunity to get the small after the fact. I have no idea why they decided to restock it. I think it's possibly because it was around the time of when the Sex and the City episode aired. Maybe they held some stock back because they knew that they were gonna get an influx of inquiries around when that episode aired. And they probably just saw that it sold really well and a little, some of the production was running later. So my store was able to get two more of these bags. Reach out to your sales associate if you're still looking for it, of course. But yeah, that is why I decided to go with the small version of the Gucci Balenciaga collaboration hourglass bag. If you enjoyed this little update, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more cool videos, especially if you love handbags. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.